guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and in this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make turkey carnitas, which is like the best thing that you can make with leftover turkey. If you follow me on Instagram, you should if you don't, the name is just Mrs. Vitale, very simple and easy to find me. If you follow me on there, then you will have known this past weekend I made literally a whole Thanksgiving meal just so that I could have leftover turkey and stuffing and cranberry sauce to hit you with a few leftover recipes. And you guys were so excited about it and I'm also gonna follow, I'm gonna just lead you the whole week of Thanksgiving into what you need to make and when so that you're not overwhelmed on the big day. So make sure you follow me there if you don't already. So let's work on the carnitas. These are so fantastic and easy. I'm telling you they're the best thing to make with leftover turkey. Let's go to the pan right now. All I've got is some leftover turkey. Just make sure you take off the bones and I discard the skin as well. Well, we eat the skin. <laughs> but I've got some leftover turkey. Now leftover turkey in the fridge gets really dry, gets really hard, so we have to kind of bring life back into it. We need to put it in a flavorful bath that it can get nice and soft and delicious and ah, so good. So we're gonna make a flavorful bath for it so that it can simmer and get delicious. I've got paprika, granulated garlic, dehydrated onion. I've got a little bit of cumin, a little bit of oregano. And here I've got some chicken stock, well it's just water with a little bit of chi ground chicken granules. And I've got chicken stock granules. And I've got some freshly squeezed orange. I'm gonna add my spices to that so that it can kind of mix a little bit easier. This mixture is going to simmer with the turkey and the turkey is just going to drink it up and it's going to be fantastic and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop this on to my burner here cover it let it simmer on low for about half an hour or so and then i'm going to remove the lid and just let it cook until all of that liquid has absorbed and evaporated and then i'll show you the next step all right so the liquid has all absorbed and i've just been shredding it really roughly, I don't want it to be really thinly shredded um, with my tongs. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add a drizzle, not a lot, but a drizzle of olive oil, light olive oil, and I'm going to just cook this until the turkey gets really nice and crispy, mostly just on one side, very much like traditional carnitas, right? Because they get that beautiful crispiness at the end. And what I've got here, for the toppings, I've just got some pico that I made with some colorful tomatoes, I've got some guac, I've got some limes, and I've got some corn tortillas that I just heated up on my gas burner. And I'm just gonna keep an eye on all this. And once the turkey's ready, we're gonna build ourselves a delicious carnita tacos. See all those crispy bits right here all around? That is what you are looking for. I'm gonna turn this off because there should be a fine balance between making something nice and crispy and drying it out. We don't want to dry it out. We did all that work, well, we didn't really do a lot of work, but we did the work about making sure that it's nice and moist and brought it back to life. I don't want to mess it up. So now I've got my tortilla, always corn tortilla for me, some of my turkey, a little bit of pico, and if you want sour cream, if you want cheese, by all means, you just do what you want, but this to me is heaven. I love me any kind of taco, and this is the best way to repurpose that dried up turkey that's gonna be in your fridge after you've made way more than you needed. Mmm. That is heaven. Heaven in my mouth. It's all good. Go to lauraindekitchen.com, get the written recipe. You will want to make sure you've got leftovers so that you can make this recipe. Easy and simple, makes a ton of it so you can serve it at a fun party or get together or a game night or whatever, whatever you fancy. Hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. We're gonna go have lunch and I'll see you next time. Bye.